Well, howdy folks. This is gonna be the first carp video of the year, I think, all the way late in August. Crappy fishing absolutely sucks. I did go this Friday, I mean, same, same story every year. The lakes get covered here in Illinois. We have a lot of algae. They just get covered with minnows and baby shad. And there's fish busting everywhere. The fish is scattered. I don't wanna, you know, waste my day all day for whatever, 10, 15 fish. And you catch one fish, then 10 minutes, you catch another fish, then 20 minutes, we catch another fish. Not my thing. So August is the best month for carp fishing, in my opinion, except my river is right now really, really low, even though this week we had a lot of rain, but it's still so low. The lakes actually went up, but the river is still low. Maybe they haven't released any water on top. So I had to come kind of too close to the bridge. Usually I don't want to fish that close to the bridge because of the noise, but I want to get closer to the deeper water because it's just really shallow. And carp likes shallow, but still when the water drops a lot, just like all other fish, it will move a little bit deeper. So anyway, too much yapping. I was fishing Braidwood yesterday with the kids and the wife. Did not do very good, but my rods are actually still, uh, you can see the circle hooks here. One of them broke off. I didn't know Braidwood has snags, man, but it has plenty of snags. I broke off twice. I'm also using only bait casters today because it was just, they were already in, in the boat and spinning reels to get four of them. They don't fit in the boxes. Anyway, already five minutes of intro, but uh, it's very easy for me to change my uh, rods from catfish to carp, because all you do, I have these pre-tied rigs. I have at least 20 of them, you can see in this bag. They have a feeder, they have leader line, they have a hook. So all you do is, cut the line and I have some knives here, scissors, whatever. I just cut the line and tie the carp rig, which is ready, and I cast. And same bait as always, I have video about how to make this bait. We're gonna start with pure fresh corn. If the bite is good, I have some snacks in my cooler. And um, well, I don't, I don't wanna open the cooler because I may or may not have beer in the cooler depending on whether or not it's legal uh, to drink beer here. Not 100% sure, but I have some snacks. Um, and we're gonna try to catch some carp on the snacks if the fish, if the fish are biting. But yeah, let's uh, cast and see how it goes. That's my bread and butter, but I don't know what happened. Oh, here we go. Wait a minute, Mr. Robert. Oh, uh oh, I lost him. Uh -oh. Talking to Mr. Robert from Atlanta. Subscriber. Oh, that was an incredible bite. How did I lose this fish? Mr. Robert, give, give, yeah, give me a minute. I need to put bait and recast. Hang on, okay? okay. Hang, hang tight. Yeah, but it's uh, dropping uh, for some reason. Yeah, you cut off. I can't hear you now. Okay. Oh, here we go. Hold on, hold on. We're getting this one. Uh, yep. We got this one, Mr. Robert, finally. Good, good. I'm still talking to Mr. Robert, guys. 45. Oh, that's a... Oh, my God. That is a... That... Oh, my God. It's kind of warm. Oh, come on, man. Fox, absolutely gorgeous carp. But I thought he was way bigger than this. This fish is, I don't know, five, six, seven pounds. I thought he was 50. When he took off for the bridge over there, he burned my thumb. Alright. 
Woo! I thought that was a smooth release. Ah, when I'm fun, I want to do a nice come the zema gulemi a cooler that don't say now of kishchi. No, me should know that it's a good thing. It's also a cut to a organic. Oi, here it is. There we go. There we go. Ah, come on! You gotta be kidding me. This hit no fish. Oh, here we go again. I'm gonna catch this one. Come on. Yep. He here. He here. Many McAfee. Ah! Lost him. I horsed him. I horsed him and I lost him. At the boat. Той се остава там. Мафана, два кинга фана, не иде. О, here we go, here we go. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Oh. I mean, he feels good, but the first one felt good also. Yeah, buddy. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'm not gonna horse this guy because I don't have enough fish on uh, on camera. Let's land him. Beautiful, fat mirror carp. Let's get the crappy net and get him in the crappy net. Because that's what we got today. Oh yeah. Crappy net, no problem. Here we go. Look at this fish, folks. Still has spawning marks, but other than that, gorgeous colors and excellent health. That's called a mirror carp. I don't know what kind of mirror. They have many kinds of mirrors. Touch free release. Oh. Okay. That's better. Check him out. Sit in a sit in a telephone. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go again. Two pound fish. I confuse him with a tin. I just haven't had many carp on the line this year, folks. That's the problem when you fish. Oh, 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 oh. When you fish mostly for crappy, and then you catch a carp. When you fish mostly for crappy, and then you catch a carp, everything feels really big. That's why all of these bass anglers, they always tell me, when I tell them I fish for carp, they say, oh, go there, there is 30, 30 pound carp everywhere, 30 pound carp everywhere. Up, 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 up. Only on the bank, folks. All my fish come from the bank. Man, this fish feels good. Come on. You cannot be another five pounder. Come, the, the gentleman at home he want to see you. I don't know why only getting bites only by the bank that's all i got folks beautiful young fish i thought he was a 15 okay not 20 but i thought he was a 15 pound man i'm you can tell i'm off my carp game i completely misunderestimate fish Buddy, on the ugly stick. First fish. 
I already snagged, lost one fish there on a snag. So I gotta horse him. Lose him or not, I gotta horse him. In the boat he comes. The other line needs to be recast anyway. Finally. One fish on the ugly sticks. How do they get me wet every time? This is the guy, folks. Show yourself, buddy. Okay, I don't know if he's 10, but I think he is my biggest today. It is what it is. He's got a big mouth, huh? You want some more fresh corn? Touch free release. Jesus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ugly stick is down. Oh my god. Good pull. Good, good, good pull. No, we lost him again. We lost him again. You gotta be kidding me, man. That was a good pull, man. Come on, guys. You saw this. That was a good pull. I didn't make this. That was a good damn carp pull. Why am I drag so tight? I didn't think it was that tight. I didn't hear it. Here we go, the last fish of the day. I'm not losing this one. Yep. I lost a lot of fish today. Very strange and this one feels like he's not here, but I hope he's swimming my way. And I still think he is. Yeah, he is. But that's a really small fish. Come here, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 God damn it, got tangled in the prop. Folks, I have to narrate the outro because I'm talking to a dead microphone over there. But I thought of three reasons why I lost so many car when fishing with my bait casters. The first reason is I have a lot thicker line on my bait casters and thicker line just doesn't stretch as much as thin line. And because of that, you know, when these carp were making the first, you know, very strong run closer to the bridge, I lost a few of them because the line just didn't stretch enough and the hook just tears a hole in the fish's mouth and the fish oh come loose. God. And the other reason is the bait casters are just, you know, in general, a lot more powerful than spinning reels. You know, carp anglers, you know, dispute that, but it is true, at least if you compare reels of the same weight. Bait casters are a lot more powerful. And for that reason, I was getting the fish close to the boat a lot faster, and the fish were not done fighting yet. So now you have them fighting under the boat where they can get tangled in the propeller or. They can just fight, pull very hard and you have no line to stretch. And I lost a few fish at the boat too, just because I got them too, too fast uh, at the boat. And the last reason is, the bait casters, all of my bait casters, even my expensive Ryogas, the drag is not as good on a, on a cheap spinning reel. I don't know the reason, but I don't know, is it the carbon, is it the bigger size of the spool has bigger disc and more surface? For some reason, the drag on bait casting reels is just not good. It's like zuck, 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 compared to zzz, ta, 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 you know, on a spinning reel, just perfectly smooth drag. And these fish, you can see the rod bent on some of these takedowns, the rod tip bent down all the way to the water. And the reel still never released line. And I did check them. I did check them with my hand all the time, you know, before I cast them. It looked fine to me, but it gets sticky. Anyway, no excuses, but the drag did not um, pay line when it was supposed to. But uh, no big deal. To me, this is just a challenge. Now I want to go 
right back there with the same bait casters and with the same line and I wanna you know you get my drags a lot looser and take more time playing the fish and this time I wanna land all of the fish but hey uh, folks thanks to all of you that reached the end of this video I really appreciate it thanks for watching this one and I'll see you soon bye bye